Welcome back, everybody. We are under a storm alert here at NBC 26. We have a severe thunderstorm watch here for Sheboygan, Fond du Lac, Green Lake, and Marquette counties. Officially, it is up until 10 o'clock. More than likely, it's going to be canceled much sooner than that. Here's a look at the latest lightning activity across central and eastern Wisconsin. You can see we've got thunderstorms scattered all over the place. Once again, the radar kind of showing hit or miss showers and thunderstorms across central, northern, and eastern Wisconsin. As we zoom in just a little bit closer, once again, you can see the majority of the activity, as far as the thunderstorms are concerned, have been east of Highway 41. We've had some locally heavy rain, some small hail, and some gusty winds. We have additional showers and thunderstorms here developing north and west of the Fox Valley from near Watoma up to just north and west of Clintonville and then east of Wittenberg because we're still watching the cold front out to the west. Until the cold front completely clears the area, there's going to be that chance for additional thunderstorms. Now, severe thunderstorms produce damaging winds, large hail, and deadly lightning. If a warning is issued for where you are watching from, move to an interior room on the lowest level of your house. So far, really not a whole lot going on as far as severe weather is concerned. We have a couple reports of hail here in northeast Wisconsin, one near New London, the other one near Fond du Lac. Several reports of hail right around the Milwaukee area, but besides that, not a whole lot of severe weather with this event so far. In fact, we've only had one severe thunderstorm warning issued within the watch, and that was across northern Illinois, and that was about 45 minutes ago. As you take a look at the satellites, you can see we've got a warm front just to our south, and then we've got a cold front to the west. This is the area where there's the best chance for seeing severe weather. Those thunderstorms have been developing kind of along the warm front for the past couple of hours, but then they shift north and east into cooler and more stable air, and they're losing their threat for producing severe weather. You can see that warm front certainly means business. <laughs> We've got 76 in Madison, but it's only 38 degrees in Lando Lakes. Most of us are north of that front right now. It is 55 degrees at Appleton with gusty northeast winds. We're looking at upper 40s in Green Bay with northeast winds at around 15 to 30 miles per hour. You can see cool conditions covering much of northeast Wisconsin, and that's why the greatest threat for severe weather is well to our south. It's very difficult to get severe thunderstorms when you're talking about temperatures in the 30s, 40s, and even 50s. We can see a few 60s here across the south. Fond du Lac actually hit 72 about an hour ago. So precision cast starting at 7 o'clock shows the main brunt of showers and thunderstorms pushing off towards the east. A lingering shower, maybe a thunderstorm possible as we head deeper into the evening, and then clouds will hold tough through tomorrow morning into the afternoon. Eventually, as we head into the late afternoon and early evening, we'll see some sunshine breaking out across the area from north to south as high pressure builds back into Wisconsin. Temperatures tomorrow will be cool once again, about 10 to 15 degrees below normal for this time of year. Our normal high is right around 60. Most of us will be in the 40s. So your forecast for tonight calls for showers and thunderstorms. It's going to be a windy night, gusty northeast winds at times around 30 miles per hour. Overnight lows will be in the mid to upper 30s tomorrow. Lots of clouds and then decreasing clouds as we head through the afternoon and early evening. It's going to be a windy and cool day. High temperatures once again only in the 40s. If you like that, you're in luck. We've got more of it on the way. Sun and clouds on Wednesday, lower 50s. Some rain or showers on Thursday. High temperatures once again only in the 40s. We get a break on Friday and for most of Saturday with upper 50s and some sunshine. And then another system heads our way for Sunday and Monday of next week with the chance for some more rain and cool conditions with highs only in the 40s. And Megan, if you're keeping track, <laughs> that's actually during the month of May already. Highs oh in the gosh. 40s and some rain. I what? know. Well, at least we're getting our first taste of thunderstorms, which usually means summer, spring weather. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, as I look at the long range computer forecast models, we're definitely going to transition into a warmer stretch of weather as we head into the first couple of weeks of May. Something I'm <laughs> waiting for for a long time. Yes, it has to happen. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Cameron. All right. Well, we have continuing coverage on the Anago prom shooting tonight at six o'clock. Stacey and